Close your eyes, watch your breath, and watch your mind watching your breath. John Lee gives the analogy of a pulley. The rope in the pulley goes up and goes down. Your alertness has to be with the breath, but also turn around and look at the mind, make sure it's staying with the breath properly. In fact, that's a lot of the practice right there. The Bodhi gives you things to do, and then he says, look at yourself doing them. It starts with acts of generosity. And watch yourself as you're giving, the, giving a gift, and you begin to realize what your motivations are and all the other things that go into deciding to be generous. Then you can develop it into a skill. The same with the precepts. Make sure you really look carefully at your actions and at your words, and the impact that your actions and words have on your own mind and they have on people around you. And you begin to see the impact that your actions have on your environment. The whole point of this is to realize, yes, your actions are important. What you're doing is important. So you've got to do it carefully because it makes a difference. You can create peace and harmony. You can create trouble. All too many people say, I, I don't like these people around me. They're, they're this way, they're that way. Well, maybe they're reacting to what you're doing. So you've got to get sensitive to what you're doing. Because it's having an effect not only outside, but also on the inner parts of your mind. And this is why the Four Noble Truths focus in on what you're doing right now. Either you're acting on craving and causing suffering, or you're acting on the path and helping to arrive at the end of suffering. There are choices that you're making, and you want to be sensitive to them. So you can do them skillfully. This way you're looking at yourself is a way of showing goodwill, not only for yourself, but also for the people around you. There was a book years back on what the Buddha taught. It, taught every, it organized everything under the Four Noble Truths, and it couldn't figure out where the four Brahma Viharas would fit under the Four Noble Truths. So it put them as an appendix, which shows very little insight. The Brahma Vihara is a part of the right resolve. And the, the motivation underlying the whole issue of how we can act in such a way as to put it into suffering. Both for our own sake and for the sake of the people around us. Because when you're suffering, you tend to take it out on other people. Look at the hummingbirds. On the days when the nectar begins to run down, they start attacking one another. which doesn't help the situation at all. So if you look after your own happiness, there's no need to attack other people, no need to get upset about other people. You've got something good inside. So goodwill is what motivates us as we practice. And it's our ability to look at ourselves and to admit, yes, there are areas where I'm acting unskillfully. But I can change my ways. Focus your attention there. Because that's where the real work lies.